The ankles get an extreme load in gymnastics, not only on the floor or vault, but when gymnasts need to stick to these mounts. The flexible floor and big mattresses are beneficial for the acrobatic skills and preventing injuries, but they require more stability when gymnasts have to stick to their landings. This is why they prepare their ankles thoroughly, however, it's still a sensitive area. With the following unique exercises, you'll be able to improve your ankle mobility and stability a lot, so stay with me and let's get right into it. The anatomy of the ankle and foot is really complex. The foot is made up of 26 bones, which are held together and moved by more than 100 ligaments and more than 20 muscles. This is why I won't bore you with the details. It's enough if you know the movements of the feet, since you'll use those and their combinations in the following exercises. These movements are the following. Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, aversion, medial rotation, and lateral rotation. With only practicing these movements, you can improve your body awareness a lot, so it's recommended to practice them before a leg workout. Most people don't have enough ankle mobility, which prevents them from performing certain leg exercises properly. In this case, even a simple squat is challenging, not to mention other variations. Let's see some mobility exercises first, and start with the most important one, the dorsiflexion. Let's start with a basic mobility exercise that anyone can do. You can do this against the wall or with a broomstick. Get down on one knee with your hips and front foot facing forward. Push your knee forward as much as you can with keeping your heel on the ground. If you do it against the wall, try to touch the wall with your knee. And if you do it with a broomstick, try to push your knee behind the line of the stick on the outer side. Do 15 to even 30 reps. The next mobility exercise is a gymnast walk that also improves your dorsiflexion. The point of this exercise is to push your knee forward as much as you can with keeping your heels on the ground. There's gonna be a more intensive stretch that you can feel in your calves. Do 30 to 50 steps. Another gymnast dorsiflexion stretch is when you sit on your heels. This is a static stretch that involves the toes as well. Simply just sit on your knees in dorsiflexion and stretch it for 20 to 30 seconds. The advanced dynamic version of this exercise is when you touch the floor with your knees. You can do that one by one with hand support, then without assistance, then with closed legs with hands, then without assistance. These variations require a deep squat, this is why they are also pretty advanced. Do 10 to 15 reps, whichever version you do. If you do these mobilizations frequently, you can quickly gain more ankle mobility and you'll be able to perform the different squat variations properly. For gymnasts, pointing their toes is really important aesthetically. If you want to improve the look of your skills, pointing your toes will not only help you aesthetically, but will give you a more stable feel by performing them. This is a benefit that most people don't know. Pointy toes usually bring extended knees, which gives a tight hold of the legs as well as the whole movement. Thanks to this, the skill will not only look better, but will be easier to perform as well. A simple but effective exercise is when you sit on your feet with pointed toes. Make sure to close your heels, probably that's gonna be the hardest part. Stretch your feet like this for 20 to 30 seconds. If you wanna get more stretch, support on your hands and raise your knees, elevating to your toes. Do 10 to 15 reps and 10 to 30 seconds hold. After the mobilizations, let's see some typical gymnast exercises that will improve the active flexibility and stability of your ankles. The first exercise is when you're rocking back and forth from your heels to half feet. To do this, stand in hip width straddle with parallel feet, then elevate to half feet, stop for a moment, then roll back with control to your heels. Do active dorsiflexion when you roll to your heels. Do 15 to 30 reps. After the rocking movement, walk on half feet with paying attention to stabilize your ankles, then walk on your heels as well with active dorsiflexion. The second exercise is when you're rolling side to side, which creates the inversion, so rolling the sole of the foot to face medially, and aversion, so rolling the sole of the foot to face laterally. Here, you also need to stand in hip with straddle with parallel feet. Pay attention to the controlled movements and the biggest possible range of motion. Do 15 to 30 reps. After that, walk on your feet with both positions 
paying attention to the stability. Do 30 to 50 steps. You can benefit from these mobilizations and strengthening exercises in several sports as well as in everyday life. Since the stabilizations include movements that you might have never done, with practicing them you can prevent a sprained ankle. If you want to learn more and have a shredded physique like gymnasts have, get started with the plans that include all joint preparation exercises, programs and routines done by thousands of people worldwide. Download the Gymnastics Method app in the App Store or Google Play Store, become a member and get full access. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you haven't seen my earlier videos about joint preparation, check them out on the screen now.